Uh, Nicholas, tell us uh, from your vantage point, um, you know, with those uh, disturbing images that Nina had referred to earlier on about those mass, that mass grave, right, being dug up there in New York as well. Um, do you think that all of these images that are not coming out of the U.S. and the, and the very worrying statistics that daily now we're bombarded with, um, that reality that this is really a growing pandemic within the U.S., that, that Donald Trump is really in trouble politically as well? Well, Carl, I would say that in terms of whether the pandemic is growing in the United States, you're seeing some promising signs in New York State, at least, that the curve may be flattening. As Governor Cuomo has, has been emphasizing very cautiously this past week, but there are other trouble spots, of course, that they're going to be keeping an eye on, such as the Midwest, Chicago, Detroit, and then further in the south, like Louisiana, where they, where they are experiencing a very large number of cases. In terms of how this affects Trump, however, these two regions are probably very important to keep in mind because we are still in a presidential year. And you are seeing that in these states, particularly Michigan in the Midwest, and then Louisiana or Florida even in the South, were both very, very important to President Trump in 2016 during his run, run for office. So if you start seeing a surge in these states, partic particularly along the lines of what you're seeing here in the Northeast, like New York, New Jersey, and so on, it could begin to affect the president politically because people are people are afraid and people are worried when they start seeing the stores around them close down and their loved ones getting sick. And they, then they see the president who comes out on television near daily, who some days he's acknowledging the severity of the crisis, other yeah. days he's continuing to deny that it's even that it's at the severity that it is with constant promises that will be okay in a very short time frames that are completely dis disavowed by sometimes even experts within his own administration.